Hi, my name is Don Bison 101. Today I'm going to show you how to get Microsoft Forms. I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft and I'm going to show you how to create or a survey quiz and how to create questions on Microsoft Forms. It is entirely for free and it won't cost you anything. So let's jump straight to our PC. Yeah, I am on my desktop as you can see. To get Microsoft Forms, you type on office.com you click enter when you get to office.com you click enter uh, office.com you go to log in actually my Microsoft team is automatically logged in because I have the account already so if you don't have the account you sign in and then you require you to insert your email and then your password when you insert your email and password you will get to this page as you can see here this is uh, Microsoft Office with a lot of words, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, and also. So to get a Microsoft form, you go to this, the top left hand corner here on this box, you click on this box. When you click on this box, as you can see, there's no Microsoft form there. It's not actually on the page. So you go to all apps, you click on all apps. Here, when you click on all apps, you are going to see forms. This is forms, you click on forms you click on the form the page will actually open as you can see like this on my page here this is microsoft form on the page you are going to see my other forms which i will be creating like for instance i have this one which i have just created on my about my youtube channel which looks like this this is how your questions are going to be this is how you are going to to set your own questions using microsoft form and this as you can see this is exactly how we are going to use microsoft form to do survey questions and to create quizzes so as you can see based on my my uh, survey questions here these are the questions and i've gotten four responses from people so at the end of it you see response for four, four people have responded average time to complete the response this is it Yes, this, to see the result, to see the ratings. These are the answers, as you can see. Yes, this is how you are going to get it. So now I'm going to teach you how to create, create a quick and new form. We have a new form, we have a new quiz. So we are going to look at forms. How to create a survey? You go to new forms, you create on new forms. The page actually opens like this, and then here you see on name title. Don't worry, my this is both in Thai and, and in English. So to create a survey quiz or questions, you require a title. Let's say I want to talk about self introduction. Self introduction. I'm going to show you how to set questions step by step so here it requires you to put a description to describe self introduction please please answer all these questions if you are if you are a teacher or if you are managing a small business or a large business you want to use microsoft and this is how you start here you see questions, here you see responses, and then here you see examples. At the end of it, when we are done with our questions, we are going to look at this. Then the theme, let's say I want to create a theme. If you want to create a theme, there are a lot of themes here. You can choose whatever theme you want to use, like this. Let's say self-introduction, since it's about school, I'll choose this theme, and then I create. Uh -huh. That's my theme. We have choose already. If I don't want that, I can still come here and then choose any other thing. Now let me just go to a quick question. To set, let's say I want to add here. You can insert pictures. Let's say I want to search any picture about the school. Let's say introduction, introduction, introduction picture, picture. any picture you want. To search you can search here as you can see on search images you see one drive 
you can get the images on one drive you can upload from anywhere on your desktop wherever your pictures download here you can search online that like you see i'm searching online introduction let's say i choose this and then we click on click on increase the, the picture will actually yes upload now this is how the picture looks like my introduction this is how you start now to add to start to set question you go to add new when you click on add new you, you are going to see what type of questions do you want to if you want to like choose questions messages like you want your students to respond like to write sentences you choose this if you want them to read in percentage or numbers you choose this calendar the date when is this going to happen so the our school how do you like our school like this is i want to answer the questions on on rating so here yeah, you read students students are going to read it if you want it to be uh, on five on two on three on i like to put my written on 10 and then here we have we have star and i'm sorry for the translations we have numbers if you want to then to put numbers one to ten to choose you can if you want stars you can choose stars yes and then this is the question is next question you still click on this additional button you go to calendar the date the, the date question requires you to actually set a question that needs students to put the date the month and the year when you can say when is your birthday and it's your birthday if you want to insert an image or anything you can insert from here by just clicking here now the students are going to put our responses here so this is how you use choices messages rating dates to set questions questions on your microsoft form you can set 20 questions for the questions it's up to you yeah so here an example let's see as an example if i want to see how the questions looks like this is how the questions are going to appear on the computer this is how the questions are going to appear on the computer so you can see if students want to answer the question when they answer and then they send on mobile phones here this is how the questions are going to for those who are using mobile phones if you set your questions and the students want to answer and they're using their mobile phones this is how the, the questions will appear this is how the questions are going to appear and then to come back you just come to retrospective you come back here to the themes i've told you we have I've explained how you can change your theme you can change to any other theme if you want to it's up to you to change to any other theme by just clicking it now to go to send let's go to send let me show you a quick response at the end of the exams you want to send to your students you can just click on the, the url here and then you click on copy you copy the link and then you send to the students or to your company workers through whatsapp line facebook any social media where you want to send the, the, the questions to so the student will just respond and then you you have the answer the question and then you get the responses now here you can still create a qr code by creating a qr code you just click on download this is the, the qr code is actually going to download your questions and then you send the code to anybody any group of persons or students that you want them to they will just scan the qr code and then they get into your questions and answer the question here this is still the link you can just click it and then you copy the link getting duplicated you can duplicate it you can share as many templates as you want same as in back here here on email you can send on email addresses you can send on gmail here facebook twitter you can send the exams to them on any direction that you want now these three dots let, let me explain on the three dots you go to settings on settings you are going to accept the responses like people when they respond you actually see the responses on my previous page the date you can set a date for your exams the date of start let's say i want my students to start testing today and then i want them to end tomorrow you can switch the order of your questions by clicking like this when you click like this let me do the translation i'm sorry for this all questions will be translated 
like will be switched that is a sweet question for students not to copy like because most of the students like to copy the answers they will just say hey what is question one what is answer they copy from friend when they, they, you get your answers the questions get to the students maybe the student one has question five first and then question three is you understand the the, the, the exams is going to jumbo this is how you do and then email email here you can get email notifications if you want to get email notifications on anybody who responds to your questions you just click on email you know, enable this and then to customize customize that is you customize a message at the end of the exam when students are done with their exams you have, they will have a thank you message a quick and thank you message directly and immediately after the end of the exams so this is the function these are the functions of this this and this print form you can print form you can give feedback you can give requirements you can give requirements so this is how you use microsoft form to create surveys and quizzes to go on to go back to our forms you just go back to forms here as you can see drive has actually set uh kept the questions automatically so don't worry about saving the, the questions are going to be saved automatically now on quizzes is the same so i'm going to click on quiz you still give your quiz a title if you want to anything let's say fruits yeah and then you say it's still the same procedure to create a quiz you give the description draw fruits and name them you can give any topic in any topic you can still come here on the insert button you search on pictures of fruit let's see you can offload from one drive you set the photos upload you can do anything here you search online pictures of fruit like this one if i want to insert any of this just click on the picture and then i insert this is how microsoft forms works the same questions the same procedures the same you come here the, the, you add to add questions this are whether you go to choice text messages rating date the same as i've done to the previous question since so, so here you have examples you can click here to see the example of your question on mobile phones you can see it like this on computer you can see it like this to come back you go to this perspective and then to change the theme if i want to change the theme yeah, i'll just follow the same procedure you can change the theme by just clicking any any color that you want so to send remains the same you can copy a url and send the link to the students here you still click follow the same examples same that is the same as you can see settings the same so this is how you, you use uh, microsoft forms to create surveys and to create quizzes both surveys and quizzes good so this is an example of uh, what we have just done to go back here you can go back here and then you check on any survey that you have created we've created two surveys now the first one was which i created before understanding students engagement in online learning this is actually my one of my projects yes i have five responses because i I created the project and I sent to the students to answer and some of my friends. So at the end of it, the, the answers are going to be yeah. Five people have actually responded. This is the average time to complete a response. Active status, you see. How excited are you? These people answered this. This you see. These are the rates. This is how they answer the question and you see. Do you like my teaching? You see? The response is yes. I have five responses on this. Mm -hmm. so this is how microsoft form works that is how easy it is to create a quiz on microsoft form and finally this is how you can create a quiz and equally get microsoft form and also how you could use microsoft form to create both surveys and also quizzes if this video is helpful and you are here or on, are able to create a quiz or use forms please give this video a thumbs up if you can share your ideas or teach any other person please share this so that somebody somewhere can benefit until then see you next time bye bye